host, Wilson. I'll introduce some special parts of our school. Today, we'll also have a special guest, Elisha, here. Hello, everyone. I'm Elisha. First of all, let me introduce the planetarium. We are the only school with such an advanced facility. Would you please talk about your astronomy club? Hmm, we have lots of telescopes. We practice in our free time. Our mission is to help people know more about the mysterious sky. As I know, you receive elementary school students and kindergarten kids. What do they learn there? They learn the horoscopes. Also, use binoculars to see the birds and telescopes. They are so adorable. Wow, it must be fun and exciting. How about the star party? It's at Ulan Fort and Kilong Ocean Square, right? What is it? Well, it's about getting close to the starry sky. Watching the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. If you are lucky enough, you can also see the shooting stars. Sounds great. Who can join you? Anyone. No background, no worry. Our teachers will be there too. We are ready to explain everything for you. Then, how do we get the information? Check out our school website. Trust me, you won't miss it. Speaking of talent gifted education, we are regular winners in National Science Fair. Would you tell us how to do it? We have special and inspiring courses. For example, we map PVC telescopes. Study animal organs, mm, make Arduino cars, and many more. Are there any interesting activities? Yes, we do fun and meaningful things, like stand up paddling. We even clean the beach from time to time. You know, saving the earth. Wow, that's cool. Well, once a year, we welcome students from Malaysia sister schools during the trip. They stay with the host families. It's a wonderful chance for them to experience our lives. Elisha, you used to be the host student. What did you do during their stay? I hosted Lily. While her stay, we went to school together, study together. Mm, anyway, we did everything together. My parents even took us to Taipei 101. I remember you've been to Malaysia. It seems that our principal takes students to travel in Malaysia every year. I'm highly interested in everything about it. Let me see. We weaved stuffs with coconut leaves. After that, caught loaches in the scary mud. What else? We dressed up in their traditional clothes. Oh yeah, visited a very beautiful mosque. Some so much fun. Did you have anything delicious? I would say satay hapat. It's a must try. Hey, I'm always wondering, what chance Malaysia used to eat? Red hen. At first, I thought it was disgusting. But later on, I did find the rice more delicious this way. I believe this trip has broadened your vision over the world. I wish I can visit Malaysia one day. Okay, I think we need to say thank you and goodbye to Malaysia. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Let me continue. We have this big maker lab with advanced machines. It's a brand new learning experience for we students. Check out this super laser cutter. It's so useful. We make clocks, rulers, key rings, covers of notebooks, etc. Visitors are also welcome to create, to make, and to play. This special wound pen is a gift for our guest, Mr. Ryan, the Minister of Education from Alva, the USA. He wrote a Chinese character, Love, with an e-pen too. Next, check our library. The designs of it based on galaxy, star, moon, and space capsule. It's unique from any other library that you can imagine. Besides reading books there, we can discuss the assignments and do some reports. The outside area is also a great place where you can grab a book and take a rest. Before the graduation, the ninth graders will tell stories in nearby elementary schools. Yeah, as you can see, they presented the story in drama. Some even put on funny costume to attract kids' attention. It's a very popular activity. The kids just love it. 
Our vocational programs offer students an opportunity to explore their future career. Choices are a lot, such as electrical engineering, civil engineering, and architecture, drinks making, restaurant and culinary, and so on. For hair and beauty, they will do hair washing services to teacher as a practice. For baking, they will give away the desserts to nursing home. You can see the grannies and grandpa were so happy and warmly touched. I bet we're the only junior high school in Keelong to have this contest. It's a perfect time for us to show off. We have teacher tutors who help students practice and choose the suitable songs. When our friends step on the stage, we cheer and shout it loudly. Finally, it's the music feast. There are performances such as piano, violin, flute, erhu, and recorder. Lots of teachers and students take part in it. By the way, it's open to public. Just come and enjoy this great event. Let's watch a video and call it a day. I'm Wilson. Hope to see you next time.